Looks like she's on the warpath already, hey? Mm, she's a keeper. Well, hi everyone. I um, captured uh, by accident a praying mantis yesterday. I put two crickets in this tank and, um, well, guess what's happening? It was actually a uh, fluffy cat that found this mantis. She was playing with it on the back deck here. Isn't she stunning in the morning sun here? Oh, good girl, Fluff, hey? Good girl. Oh, she loves a rub like that. Look at her. Oh, look at that belly, hey? How big is that? Whoa, she's biting me. Now this mantis, uh, it's brownish in colour. It was actually quite hard to see on the brown deck and I'm just trying to get, I don't know if it's a him or a her, into a better position so I can take a look. And she doesn't want to be bothered while she's eating there. But boy, oh boy, they're gruesome when they're eating these guys. I'm trying to tease it. I'll say it because I don't know it's sex. O onto the top of the wire so we can see it feeding clearly. Um, but it's uh, easier sort of said than done. It seems to have a a mind of its own this thing. Come on. Little wonder. Up here, that's it. Ah, oh, look at that. That's looking better. Okay, we'll hopefully see what's going on there. Now, believe it or not, that's the back end of a cricket. Maybe some of you can recognise that. And that mantis started to the head and worked its way down. Absolutely stunning looking creature, isn't it? Uh, designed to kill. Premium killers, these guys. What I've worked out is when they're feeding, they're actually very preoccupied and uh, it's probably the only time I'll be able to get it to basically stay in front of camera like this and look very awesome. On the thought of uh, these sorts of bugs, you know, I, I nearly went out and bought some praying mantises, but I looked at the prices that they were charging in Australia and I just thought, I'm not that silly yet. Uh, I've just chanced it for the fact that I can still find them uh, for free, which is a nice way to find bugs. Now the problem for me is, uh, I'm glad this was at our, our place, uh, we need more of these guys uh, to try and uh, put a halt to the redback spiders. Lots of people ask about that other praying mantis and redback spider video, it's coming up because it happens later on in the weeks of the spider videos. Only a few people seem to listen to what I say in the videos and it gets a little bit, uh, well what's the word, distressing to see so many people don't understand uh, when those videos will appear. Now the funny part is there was a piece of carrot down here and I believe what is orange inside that cricket is some more carrots. So nice to see the cricket was eating its veggies nice and healthy like that. I'm not that cluey on praying mantises. Uh, I can't remember which way to sex them in the fact that some fly and some don't fly and I think it's the reverse to stick insects. I only learn from my audience, I'm not an expert, uh, but they are incredibly well camouflaged. I'm yet to find one naturally, I've only found them when they're uh, stuck in an urban environment in a sense, and uh, you can sort of, well, they stand out like the proverbial, can't say certain things because this is Kitty's YouTube, but you know what I mean. Uh, they're very, very impressive and they're very aware when the things are around them. When I move the camera in around, uh, this mantis will, will watch me. They'll watch you like a hawk actually, and uh, it's only when they're sort of preoccupied and eating I feel like I can sort of get these uh, nice camera shots. I love the way they've got those front legs and they've got the barbs on them. And, and it's so effective when those barbs clasp around whatever it's going to catch. It's, it's, it's a classic good night sister nature sort of thing, you know. I don't think many things would get out of the, the clasp of a praying mantis. And there's no clues there to what happened to the redback spider. That, like I keep saying, uh, that is an extremely complex video that actually runs over a couple of days. And that's the only clues that I'm going to give you in this video. I've only had this mattis for a day. I put it in the tank here. I put in two crickets yesterday. Uh, woke up this morning, one cricket has its head totally missing. And the other cricket had just been captured, but I didn't see that moment. And it looks like the praying mantis is going to go full hog here, eat the whole thing, and I threw in another cricket, uh, just for fun, hey? That's an Australian salmon in the background, kookaburras. So yes, it's an absolute stunner. I'm starting to get used to shooting nature things. They're sort of small, they're a bit tinkery, the video, because they are so small. And to relate the size of that nice mantis there to the other larger green one I had, I think the other large green one was like about twice twice the size. This is like a little baby. And I'll just try and uh, ease him or her back into the tank. Obviously she likes that meal there. They're actually very curious in the way they move as well. 
I don't know if she's going to do, I like, have a swaying thing that goes on, I don't know what that meal, now she's seen me or something to eat I think, oh she just dumped a meal, isn't she beautiful hey, come on, down you go, down you go, I need you to sort out the red back problem I've got, oh she wants to come up doesn't she, <clears throat> dealing with insects man, they can be sometimes be, well, tricky to understand, come on in you go, she wants to escape, don't blame her, go on, in you go. And that there is uh, what was left of Mrs. Cricket. See the bit of carrot still there? And if you are wondering, where is Mrs. Mantis gone? She's just there. He yeah, probably wants a little lunch pack. There's your little lunch pack back. Sorry for interrupting you. Oops, it's down on the ground now. Yeah, there you go, she's going down to retrieve it. I think they've got pretty good eyesight. I oh, might be wrong, I'm just making things up. I wouldn't know. Looks like she's on the warp path. Uh, there is a cricket in there floating about. Who knows? She might just be a maniac killer like those redback spiders I had. Hmm. That was close, wasn't it? Well, we'll leave Mrs. Mattis uh, to her devices here, and I'll try and uh, look after her as best I can.